Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this question, I'll be going over question 110 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Assume you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So they ask you to find the conditional probability. So we know by this formula, this is equal to the f of xy, the distribution divided by the f of x, which is the marginal distribution where x is equal to one-third. So this is equal to one-third, x is equal to one-third. So let's start off with the marginal distribution of f of x. This by definition is equal to negative infinity to infinity of f of xy, integrating respect to dy. So in our case, we also know that x is equal to one-third, so plugging that in, you get 24 one-third y, integrating from negative infinity to infinity of um, y. So that's going to be from zero to one minus x, 0 to 1 minus x dy. Alright, so when we do that, this is actually equal to 8y, right? Integrating 0 to 1 minus x dy. So this is equal to y squared 4, going from 0 to 1 minus x. Plugging in the upper limit, you are going to get 1 minus x squared, right? And in the lower limit, just gives you 0. But we also know that x has to be equal to 1 third, so we can actually plug that in. So you get 4. 1 minus 1 third, that's 2 third squared. So that's equal to 4 times 4 ninths, which is equal to 16 over ninths. 16 over ninths. Okay, and in the numerator, f of xy, we just have to plug it in that x value here to be 1 third, so that's just 8y, right? So then actually I can throw that 9 upstairs, so you get 9, and these actually can, we're, we can cancel those out, and we're left with 2, 9 over 2y. So we're looking for 9 over 2y, right? So the function is 9 over 2y, and we're integrating in respect to dy. Because if they're saying we find the probability that y is less than x, we also know that this is equivalent to y is less than 1 third, right? So then, and then y exists from 0 to 1 minus x. So we know that this starts at 0 and it goes to 1 third, right? Okay, okay. So then taking it derivative here we get y squared 9 over 4 integrating from 0 to 1 third so this is equal to 9 over 4 1 ninth so the 9 cancels out and you're left with 1 fourth which is your answer c if you guys have any question feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye